Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for stopping by. So this is my Skag Freedom Z in a 52 inch deck. Some of you guys were asking to see this. This unit right here is the Skag Freedom Z, not the professional, just the regular Freedom Z. Um, this model right here has a maximum ground speed of eight miles an hour in forward five miles an hour in reverse this one weighs 785 pounds and I'm just reading some specs here the rear tires are 20 by 10 by 8 and the front tires are 11 by four and a half by five four ply pneumatic caster tires so they actually have air in them they're not the solid ones come around the back this is equipped with the 24 horsepower cooler engine I haven't had any issues I've cut really thick grass with this and the 24 horsepower engine uh, cuts through pretty much everything I never had any issues at all with that um, this model does have a fabricated deck it's not stamped it's fabricated it's very solid the fuel tank is 6.5 gallons. It does have anti-scalp wheels in the front. It has one there, one there, and over there. So this, this unit is not considered a professional unit. This is kind of like a, a heavy duty homeowner version or a light commercial. This one does come, you have the, come with the, uh, you have the adjustable deck. You could set your adjustments by the pin. You could pull the pin out and that sets the adjustment. To raise the deck, you press that silver pedal with your leg and the deck comes up. So if you're mowing and you see a little object in front of you, you just raise, press that the whole deck comes up in the air you can go over it and then put put the deck back down uh, so you could stripe over like if there's a little rock in the way you could stripe right over the rock you don't have to go around it um, this comes with the smaller tires it's not not the bigger tires like the pro the pro does go a little faster I believe I spent around 5500 on this model This model, it's perfect for me. I was just starting off last year, started my mowing business, and uh, I needed something strong. I want something that'll last, and this gets the job done. This is, if you're just starting off, this is actually more than you need. You can go get something with a, a stamped deck, really, as long as you're not plowing into rocks and things that you shouldn't, you can get away with a stamped deck, but I just wanted the extra, you know, security and just, just knowing I got something that was quality. It does come with the ROPS bar, which is nice, the rollover protection system. However, this bar doesn't fold down. So if you're going under tree limbs and things like that, you can't fold it down. So it will get stuck on the trees, which as long as you're careful and you pay attention, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but if you are mowing under trees, You'll probably have to take it off, um, but you could. If we come around this side, you'll see you have the parking brake, which is right here. You have the zero turn hydrostatic controls on the left and right. It does come with an hour meter, so you know when your maintenance intervals should be. You can keep track of it easier. You have the choke, the electronic ignition, you have the throttle control and to turn the blades on and off. The battery is actually under the left compartment here under these bolts. On the right side is where you have the fuel tank. It does have a shut off valve for on and off. It has an air filter back here, another filter right here, like a, a canister, some kind of charcoal canister or something. 
you do have a little cell phone holder or whatever you have to put in there things do bounce out of there so it's pretty useless you have a cup holder unless you're mowing slow that's kind of useless as well because it does get a little bumpy so here's another couple features you have the seat the seat does slide up and down it's all the way in the rearmost position right now I'm six foot four and about 285 pounds the seat fits me pretty well and I have plenty of leg room when the seat is all the way back so this is in the rearmost position you have the seat belt and the two armrests the armrests do fold up and down in case you're a little stocky um, you can fold the seat up and down there's a little lever in here press the lever tilt the seat forward that gives you access you get the fans to cool off the hydro system you can see your pulleys down there uh, this is the cable for the the safety to make sure that you're your neutral safety uh, to make sure you're sitting down and the mower is not running if you're not sitting down it does have the springs under here which are pretty good it does bounce around on bumps but the seat absorbs it a good amount with those I never had an issue um, you have the clutch system which is driven by by a string uh, not a string a spring and you do have some nice features on this but again this feet this model is 5500 they do now make a skag patriot which they didn't make when i bought this and the skag patriot comes with larger tires and a couple other features and it's really not that much more than this model i wish i went with the the patriot but it wasn't around when i bought this so here's what it looks like from farther away some people might ask why well, i didn't go with the liberty because it is cheaper the liberty is more of a homeowner's use model uh, it doesn't have the rollover protection the ROPS bar I definitely wanted that I know you shouldn't be rolling your mower over but when it's wet and you're on a hill I mean it is possible so I rather go with the the added safety I have seen people roll over you know on the internet there's videos and it can happen very easily with zero turns this is almost 800 pounds and this is the, like one of the smallest models that they make if you get rolled over with 800 pounds on top of you uh, you may not get it off of you so i went with the rops bar but as i said earlier the 24 horsepower there's no no issues at all it cuts some really thick wet grass the deck it shoots out the grass pretty far i know they have the different model decks when you get to the more expensive units but this one does just fine. I want to get some kind of bagger system for this. Or I know somebody makes a, a bagger collection. Just the, the little metal case that goes on there. I haven't decided which one I want to do. I think the one that goes on here only holds like three cubic feet of material. And on a yard like this, I'll be emptying that thing every, every 10 seconds if there's a lot of leaves on the ground. They do have the bagger that goes on the back but it gets pretty expensive. I think they're around 1500 or even more. So as I said, if you guys have any questions on any of this, what I said, just let me know. I'll try to answer it for you. I know I bought this, did a lot of research myself. I was gonna go to Lowe's or Home Depot and just pick up something they had there. And I probably could have saved $2,000, but I know this is going to last me for years and years and years. This, the quality of this skag is, is able to cut commercially. You don't have to worry about burning it out. It's very heavy duty. It weighs 800 pounds. The deck itself is very sturdy. I don't go running into big rocks or anything, but just in case you do, it can handle you know the abuse. I haven't really taken care of it, and the paint is holding up really well. I do store it inside most of the time. In the winter it's stored inside but in the summer it's stored outside on my trailer which is right there the big tex 5x10 so if you have a 5x10 trailer or anyway just a, a five foot wide trailer this will fit on the trailer as long as you put the the deck chute make sure it's up with a bungee cord 
as like I said, you can mow with it like that. Uh, I usually do. You just have to be careful you're not aiming the uh, the shoot at any windows or rocks, but I have insurance just in case. That's another thing. If you guys are just starting a business, just get the insurance. It's really not that much money. If you want just the regular general landscaper insurance, which lets you mow the lawn and dig about two feet down. I know here in Connecticut, you are getting a quote, a quote for like 400 for the year. Um, I actually have insurance because I do tree jobs as well. And for that, it's almost 4,000 a year. But if you're just starting out and you want, you know, to just get there, just get insurance. I'm telling you, if you have an accident and something happens, you're better off with insurance. You don't know how much the customer's windows cost and you say, oh, it's just a piece of glass, but it can get pricey. So if an accident does happen, just please get insurance. That'll be in another video. But any questions, just let me know. So while we're on the subject and I'm thinking about it now, uh, the extra features that I wanted with this skag over some of the units you might buy at, at uh, Lowe's or anywhere else is you have the the deck which I said is is fabricated it's not stamped it's stronger and this is considered a commercial model for a light commercial um, so the blades actually spin a lot faster on these units compared to something you'd get at Home Depot or Lowe's and it may not be a big deal but if you're cutting thick wet grass I prefer to have a real strong you know system just because I'd hate to have to keep going over grass twice three times four times I've never had an issue with this one so I recommend if you're thinking about getting into something either go for this or the Skag Patriot I wish I went for the Patriot but that just came out recently so when I was shopping for this last year the Patriot wasn't out all right guys be safe